such as, for example, if you have more itemized deductions, they will be good in that they are deductions, but they're not going to reduce your adjusted uh, gross income in the same way as the above the line uh, deductions would. A lower adjusted gross income usually being better, remembering everything flipped on its head for taxes, income is bad, right? Deductions are good. And if we had a lower adjusted gross income, it's more likely that we would qualify for more uh, deductions and credits due to not hitting a phase out. All right, so if we look at the below the line deductions, we have the standard and itemized deductions. Now, a few years ago, in an attempt to simplify the tax code, they increased the level of the standard deduction, which means more people are not going to be itemizing because the standard deduction will be greater than the itemized deduction. And that's probably good for like lower income uh, individuals, low to moderate income individuals, because usually the people who are benefiting from the itemized deductions have are more well off and have more types of deductions that will fit into uh, that category. The major thing, the major the deduction that will typically push people over to itemizing from a standard deduction is usually the ownership of a home. And that's because, as we will see, the interest on the mortgage of the home is possibly deductible, as well as possibly the real estate taxes on the home. Those two things, in combination with any other kind of itemized deduction, are the things that push most people over to possibly be able to itemize. It's also something that people get confused about as to whether they should purchase a home or not. It can be kind of confusing to think about the actual tax benefits that you would be receiving uh, if you were to own a home and be able to write off the interest. And we'll talk more about when we get there. It could be beneficial, but it's not really useful to think that you should buy a home just to get uh, a tax benefit because it really depends on the particular situation. So we'll talk more about that later. Now, remember that the standard deduction is going to be different based on filing status, as we've seen 